Hello students and friends. Welcome to Homeopathy Medicines. Today in this Homeopathic Materia Medica lesson, I will discuss about Homeopathic Medicine or Imiodatum. Before starting this video please subscribe to this channel for learn Homeopathy Online Free and Homeopathy Materia Medica. We need support from you to make this channel more beautiful and more informative. Now going to discuss about Oromyodatum its uses and symptoms. The symptoms are prominent in morning, afternoon, evening and night. Strong desire for open air and feels better in open air. A sleep feeling in single parts. A sensation of a band around parts. It is very useful in cancerous affections and in caries of bones. The patient feels better when cool and worse when in warm air. Congestion of blood to glands and organs. Dropsy in cavities and limbs. Exertion increases all complaints. Enduration is characteristic and especially in glands. Inflammation of organs, bones, glands, serous membranes. Lying aggravates, especially lying in a warm bed. Motion increases the suffering. Numbness in many parts, especially of painful parts. Orgasm of blood. Pain in bones, in glands, bruised feeling internally, internal burning, pressing internally and externally, stitching pains, tearing pains, internal pulsation. Pulse is fast. It is one of our great heart remedies. Running brings on many symptoms. The symptoms are strong and right-sided. Sitting increases the suffering. Swollen, painful glands. It is a most useful remedy in syphilis. Trembling. Walking fast aggravates. Slow walking ameliorates. Warmth in general aggravates. Warm air, becoming warm in open air. Warm bed, warm room, warm wraps. Weakness in morning. Anxiety day and night. Spells of unusual cheerfulness. Aversion to company. Want of self-confidence. Confusion of mind in the morning. Overconscientious about small matters. Despair of her salvation and of recovery. Excitement. Worse from exertion of mind. Fear of evil and of people. Feels hurried and seems hysterical. Fretful and impatient. Dread of all work. Indolence. Insanity with enlarged heart, orgasm of blood, red face, full veins, bloated appearance. Irresolution, irritability and mania. Mirthful without cause. Moods alternate and changeable. Mental prostration. Extreme sadness, restlessness, sensitive to noise. Timid, weeping and dizziness. Heat, heaviness and rush of blood to head. Itching of scalp. Pain in the head in the morning, better in cold air and by cold applications, in forehead on left side, on sided. Pressing pain in head, in forehead, occiput, temples, vertex. Stitching pains in head. Tearing in head, in temples. Pulsation in forehead. Inflammation, conjunctiva, cataral, scrofulous, syphilis, iritis. Lacrimation. Pain in eyes. Pressing, stitching. Protrusion of eyes. Redness of eyes and swollen. Bright colors before the eyes. Dim vision, diplopia, foggy vision, sparks. Pural and fetid discharge from ears. Noises in ears, buzzing, humming, ringing, roaring. Stitching pain in ears. Hearing acute for noise. Impaired. Post-nasal catarrh. The nose is red. Fluent or dry coriza. Discharge from nose, bloody, greenish, hard chunks, offensive, purulent, thick. Yellow. Dryness in in nose. Epistaxis. Obstruction in the nose. Pain in the nose, boring pain. Smell lost. Much sneezing. The nose is swollen. Ulceration in nose. The face is pale. Sometimes red. Eruptions on face and nose, pimples. Pain in the face. Pain in submaxillary glands, in lymphatic glands. Afthe in mouth, and bleeding gums. Redness of gums. Brown tongue. Dryness of tongue. Puterododa from mouth. 
burning pain in tongue, salivation, swollen gums, taste putrid, sour, sweetish, ulceration of gums, drawing, tearing pain in teeth, and the teeth feel too long, much mucus in the throat and burning pain, swallowing is difficult, the throat is swollen and ulcerated, it has cured goiter, it has cured enlarged thyroid with fast pulse and protruding eyes. The goiter is right sided like lycopodium. The appetite is increased, ravenous. Aversion to food. Desires alcoholic stimulants. Distension of the stomach. A sensation of emptiness in the stomach. Irritations which ameliorate. Hiccup and nausea. Pain in the stomach, burning, cutting, pressing, stitching. Thirst, burning, extreme. Vomiting bile. It is a very useful remedy in a variety of liver affections. The liver is enlarged but it is of great service in atrophy of the liver. Obstructed flatulence. Pain in the abdomen. Colic, after eating, during menses, in the right hypochondrium, in inguinal region, burning in the liver, cramping, cutting in right side, drawing, pressing in right hypochondrium. Rumbling in abdomen. Tabes mesenterica constipation alternating with diarrhea, difficult stool, inactivity of the rectum, morning diarrhea, much flatus, external piles, burning in the rectum, stool copious, offensive, hard, knotty, retention of urine, urination dribbling, frequent, urine is albuminous, cloudy, copious, offensive, atrophy of the testes, Erections troublesome at night, later impotency. Hydrocell. Enduration of testes. Pain in testes, aching. Perspiration of the genitals. Sexual desire increased. Swollen testes. In the female the desire is also increased. Enduration of the ovaries, uterus, cervix uteri. Inflammation of ovaries and uterus. Leucorrhea, acrid, copious thick, yellow, menses absent, copious, late, suppressed, pain in ovaries and uterus, prolapsus uteri, sterility, hoarseness, respiration is fast, asthmatic, difficult at night with cardiac affections and when ascending, irregular, short, suffocating, cough, dry, short, spasmodic, expectoration in the morning, bloody with cardiac affections, difficult, mucus, offensive, tough, yellow, anxiety in region of heart, congestion to chest, constriction of chest, of heart, heat in chest, hypertrophy of heart, inflammation of heart, endocardium, milk suppressed, cardiac murmurs, oppression of chest, of heart, pain in chest, during cough, sides of chest, in heart, burning in chest, Cutting pain in chest, stitching pain in chest, palpitation of heart, at night, anxious, on least exertion, on motion, tumultuous, when walking, swelling of axillary glands without any tendency to suppurate, pain in sacrum, stitching pain in lumbar region, cold hands with hot head, cold legs and feet, heaviness of feet, hip joint disease, itching limbs, lower limbs, pain in limbs, joints, gouty rheumatic, elbow, hip, drawing pain in knee, stitching in shoulder and wrist, tearing pain in limbs, upper limbs, fingers, finger joints, joints of thumb, dropsical swelling of limbs, hands, legs, feet, weakness of limbs upper, lower, knees, dreams, amorous, anxious, distressing, frightful, vivid, Restless sleep, sleepiness. Waking too early. Chill in warm bed. Shaking chill. Perspiration morning and night, profuse. Skin burning. Coldness of skin. Eczema of neck, chest and forearms. Herpetic eruptions. Itching and burning. Ulcers, cancerous, discharging, yellow pus, sensitive. Thanks for watching this video. If you want more videos like Aurimiodatum,
Please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. To learn homeopathy course online free with homeopathy materia medica. Comment us your feedback and what you want in the next video. Like and share this video with your friends and family. For paid and free consultancy online, visit homeopathymedicines.com and meshclinic.com. Thank you. Have a nice day. Stay healthy stay happy.